how can I train this? Five running techniques to make you a faster, more efficient runner. number one guys is you want your feet to land underneath your hips okay so you don't want anything to land forward or backwards you want all of the force really coming up through your body and you want your tendons and your muscles to be absorbing the impact okay one really simple tip on how to how to be able to do that efficiently and effectively is to stand in your running stance just stand still where you are and then just lean forward and at, at some point gravity is going to make you want to want to move okay and with that movement there, you can just take that and start running with it. And when you do, you're going to find that that's, that's the most natural running stance and running style. And it's going to really help you to be able to land underneath your centre of mass. Okay? And running under your centre of mass is going to lead to less injuries, much more efficient strike, which is going to mean you can run much further and the key much faster. Okay? Moving on to step number two. Okay then guys, second tip is arm movement. Arm movement is so important for propulsion forward, okay? So you've got your running stance, you're landing under your center of gravity. Now what you need is a nice, quick, easy arm turnover, okay? Because that's what's gonna really help turn your legs over properly, but also just help move you through the ground. If you look at a sprinter, their arms are going absolutely crazy, okay? So what you don't want to do is be really tense because that's going to obviously restrict your movement. It's also going to restrict your breathing. Tension's never good in running or in life in general, okay? So remove the tension, be nice and loose. Just let your arms go, okay? You don't want them to cross over in the middle. Keep your hands nice and relaxed. Um, roughly a 90 degree angle if you can, but don't worry too much about that. But in, in general, you don't want to be swinging back too much. Just, you know, a little, little bit back and then up. And when you're practicing this technique, bring it all the way up to the ears, okay? So when you're practicing, just bring it up to the ears. So you don't want to be doing that all the time, but when you're practicing to get the technique right, bringing it up to the ears is absolutely fine, okay? So a nice, quick, easy motion that doesn't cross over at all. On to tip number three. Okay, guys, tip number three it's land on your forefoot or your midfoot okay and if you've nailed tip number one then tip number three is going to be a lot easier okay so what you don't want to be doing is landing on your heel okay because when you land on your heel all of the all of the force is being absorbed through your joints okay your joints your bones and you definitely don't want that okay so it's going through your heel all the way up through your shin through your knee and into your hip and that sucks and that's what leads to shin splints and that's what leads to runner's knee and that's what leads to painful sore injured hips okay and it's the quickest way to injury okay so what you want to be doing it's nice and simple if you're landing under your center of mass then your forefoot or your midfoot really there's no it's that's a matter of preference okay and I, I switch between the two but really you want to be landing on your midfoot or your forefoot nice and springy and that's where your foot your natural um, nature has given you this awesome spring okay so when you land down it sort of tightens up and then boom off you go okay so if you're landing on your forefoot you immediately get that spring off um, without any additional energy just imagine a spring that compresses down all it wants to do is fire back off without any effort at all okay so forefoot running will help you get much faster and be able to run for longer okay so you'll be able to run longer and faster in one without doing a great deal extra other than four foot striking now obviously you need to you need to ease yourself into this um, and let your muscles and your tendons become strong enough to do it properly but it is one of the most important factors to running properly with proper technique to run fast and to run long on to number four Okay then guys, tip number four is cadence. You might have guessed this, and if you've nailed all three of these tips up until now, cadence should become incredibly uh, naturally to you. You wanna be aiming for the holy grail, which is around 180 cadence, okay? So that means both feet in a minute are turning over 180 times, okay? What that's gonna mean is a much lighter foot strike, much less 
force going through your body, um, much more efficiency. Every time you're landing, you're propelling forward. Um, it is the best way to get faster, okay? The best, easiest way to get faster. You're saving energy. If you if, Put it this way, if you're taking long strides, you're most likely landing in front of yourself, you're having to drag yourself forward. It's much more effort, okay? All these big, long, heavy strides are taking a lot of effort, whereas these quick, nimble strides, you're constantly moving you forward, you're constantly using gravity, you're constantly using that spring-like motion in your, in your lower leg and your foot to move forward, you're using less energy to move fo forward faster and further, okay? So it is a bit of a no-brainer, but cadence is incredibly important, okay? So anything really between 160 to 180, and as I say, 180 being the holy grail and if you can nail that for slow running and fast running then you're onto a winner okay on to the fifth and final tip tip number five variety variety is the spice of life and it's no different with running okay so what that means is run hills run uphill run downhill run on the flat run fast run slow run a variety of different terrains run long runs, run short runs, run somewhere in between, okay? Keep everything as varied as possible. Follow a program. The more variety you have in your training, the more your, your brain is gonna adapt with what's happening underneath your feet, okay? It's as simple as that. Your brain will learn, adapt, become far more efficient with your technique and you'll become a faster, more efficient runner and you'll just be smashing out the miles, no problem at all. That is it for my top five tips. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, please hit the like button down below. If we get enough likes, then we're gonna go for five more running techniques to help run more efficiently for faster, longer running. But for now, keep it rolling.